Hi everyone, um, it's December, the first video of December and I can't believe it. I'm so happy Starbucks has their um, gingerbread lattes in. I love anything cinnamon -y, gingerbread -y, everything. It really makes it feel like Christmas. Um, and I'm going to put my Christmas tree up later, so I'm really excited. Um, and if you've noticed, yes, I have crazy long hair and this isn't my own hair. I wish it was. I wish mine had grown this quickly. But it's um, the new Foxy Lux extensions, which I bought a few weeks ago, and I just put them in just now for the first time, just playing around with them so if they look a bit silly. Um, I haven't had them cut yet or blended because my hair is quite severe um, and they don't blend very well. So if you see bits poking out, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't wait to um, try them on. Um, okay. I'll do a separate video on those when I have them blended and when they look more natural. Um, but today's video is going to be November favourites because November's gone <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what I love this month and I'm going to start with a product that I can't believe I've never talked about it's probably one of my favourite all time makeup products um, and my tube just ran out um, which I'll show you <laughs> um, and it looks like this and it's Estee Lauder's um, Maximum Cover and it looks like this and as you can see it's completely gone I've had this nearly two years now and um, the reason it's in my favourites is, yes, because I've just started using it again like mad, and I bought another tube the other day. And I cannot tell you how amazing this product is. Um, basically, Maximum Cover is a camouflage makeup. So it's a really, really strong cover-up. It is classed as a foundation because it is 30 mils, I think. Um, yeah, 30 mils, but I don't use it as a foundation, it'd be really heavy um, for me, I don't really need that heavy a foundation, but I use it as a concealer and it's amazing, it works so well, it's the best concealer I've ever tried, um, it doesn't look cakey on the skin, it dries really quickly, so as soon as you put it on, blend it really quickly, otherwise you'll be left with like a darker patch, um, it covers all day, it stays on, even if you have oily skin, it stays on all day, and it's amazing under the eyes, the shadows, amazing for redness, I put it around my nose, and on any blemishes, it's fantastic. And I really can't believe I've never told you about this. Um, but the kind of products that I love the most, I seem to overlook, because I always go on about new things I've bought. So I'm definitely going to do my all-time favourite uh, video or something like that. But anyway, Maximum Cover by Estee Lauder, I'm loving this month, or last month. Um, um, but the things I bought this month and that I'm really, really liking and I've changed my routine a little bit with um, is a blush and I love it and it's by MAC and to be honest, I don't really use MAC blushes um, until I remembered I had this um, about two or three weeks ago and it's Dame and it's a really, really gorgeous, really nice winter autumn colour. It's a um, pink with a hint of like mauve and it really, really reminds me of MAC Dark Naked, which is one of my all-time favourite blushes, and um, it's pr pretty much the same, except Stark Naked has gold shimmer in it. Um, this is such a gorgeous colour, and I've been using it every day, and it really, really, as you can see, really, really gorgeous, really autumnal, and warms up my face straight away, and I'm loving this November, so um, this is one of my rediscovered looks. I discovered one product this month. Um, that I actually bought the Christmas present for my best friend um, and I couldn't wait to try it and I, on the way home I tried it out and so I'm going to have to buy her another one but it's amazing and it's Laura Mercier's um, Lip Glass, Glace? Lip, I don't know how you say it, it's a lip gloss anyway and it's her limited edition after hours and it is the most gorgeous baby pink with um, gold, subtle, really subtle gold shimmers. And if you can see how pigmented it is, it's so gorgeous. I'm wearing it now. Um, I wear it, I've actually started wearing it on its own because it's so pigmented. And it gives such a nice glossy finish. Makes your lips look really plump, really fresh. Um, it goes on really nicely, isn't patchy. I love it. Um, and the other lip products that I've been loving in November, um, I've got two lipsticks that I've been loving. And one of them is by Rimmel, and it's called Pink Blush, and it's a really gorgeous bubblegum pink. Um, I love my bright pink, it looks like that, it's like a Barbie pink, and I love Rimmel lipsticks, they're really good quality, I love the smell, if you know what I mean, <laughs> um, really nice consistency, lasts really well, great product, um, and I think it was about three pounds, three or four pounds. Um, so I've been wearing that pretty much every day paired with this. 
And this is by Dolce and Gabbana, D and G, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and it's their lipstick in nude. Of course it's nude. <laughs> um, and what I've been doing is, yes, I love this on its own, but what I've been doing is put it on top of um, pink blush and it makes such a lovely colour. So there it is on its own. And um, I tone down pink blush because it's quite a bright pink with this and it makes a really nice baby pink colour. And I've really been loving that combo um, this November. It's gorgeous lipstick. It smells lovely. It smells sweet. It's really moisturising. It's gorgeous. It's expensive. I think it cost me about £18, something like that. But I love it. And I love my nude, so I knew it wasn't a waste of money. Um, nail varnish. Nail varnish this month um, that I've been wearing a lot. And I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my all-time favourite colours now. Um, I picked it up about three weeks ago. And it's gorgeous. It's, am I right now? <laughs> it's by NYC and it's downtown. And it's the most gorgeous, hmm, aubergine, hmm, I don't know if that's the right word, like really deep purple with a hint of like red. It's such a lovely colour. I haven't seen a colour like it. Um, really good consistency, really creamy. That's one coat. It gives a really good colour. It doesn't chip. I've had that for three days and it's okay. Um, and the brush is amazing. It's a really fat brush, so just one, one swipe of the brush and it gets the whole nail pretty much. Um, and I love it, and I think it's $2.99. So NYC um, nail polishes are fantastic. The other ones I like are Uptown and um, Times Square are gorgeous colours as well. So if you can get your hands on NYC, they're fantastic quality. Um, and the next thing that I've been loving, um, okay, I haven't been loving the whole of November because I haven't had them for very long, but I have had them a few days and I know these are going to be my favourites probably for December as well. And these are by NYX and they're their runway palettes. And if you want to know what they look like um, and swatches and things, go to my blog because I just did a post about them yesterday. Um, and I got two. I got um, caviar, champagne and caviar. Gorgeous set of neutrals. Um, with some darker, smoky, dark brown and black. Gorgeous colours. Really nice pigmentation, really soft, easy to work with. And then I got Catwalk. You've probably seen this on Lollipop 26's blog. Gorgeous peaches and um, ready neutral colours. So I really, I've been applying my all over lid colour with a brush that I ordered on eBay. Um, I'm loving eBay at the moment. You can get some really fantastic products. And this one's by Sonia, Sonia, Sonia Kashuk, and it's massive, and it's amazing. Um, I think it's cost about £4, and I got it from America, and I, I got it a few days ago. And it's her number 17 brush, all over the lid brush, and it's such a nice, soft, dense brush. Really gorgeous for packing colour on all over the lid. So I just get my paler colour, base colour, and just um, put it in the shadow, and then just you know, once, one twice and it's all over and it's a really, really easy to use brush. I'm really, really liking that and I want to, and the last thing that I've been loving in November, I got this a few weeks ago and I was actually given it and from, I know there's a little big hoo-ha about people not saying what they've been given and what haven't. Most of the stuff I talk about, I actually buy myself, probably 99% of the stuff I buy myself. Um, but I do get some things and I will always tell you because there's no point in me recommending things if you don't trust me and, you know, it defeats the object. So I did get given this, but let's face it, I would have bought it anyway. New products um, I buy all the time, so I would have bought it. And I have actually bought it for a competition that I'm doing soon, so one of you will get one of these. And it's the Revlon Double Twist Mascara, and it is amazing. It definitely rivals YSL Singulier, which I love as well. Um, basically, it's a big, fat brush. And half of them are natural bristles, and half of them are artificial bristles. So it's kind of like Chanel, except Chanel. It's been compared to a lot, the brush, and it's gorgeous. It gives a really, really fat, false lash effect. Um, really nice formulation, except it does clump. And um, not on your eyelashes, but um, in the tube, if you can see. So I have to wipe it off before I use it. Apart from that, it's fantastic. Gives length, gives volume, gives curl. It's amazing. It does everything that you want a mascara to do, and that's a double twist. I'm going to record another video now, so I'll put that up in a few days, um, and that's going to be 
things I'm loving right now, but not makeup related. They will be YouTube related, but there's going to be some clothes and stuff as well, um, because I want to start introducing different things. Um, anyway, have a fantastic weekend. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.